Okay, folks, how we doing today? It's Thursday, October 5th, 2017. Rich Van Tassel with you. And, of course, with a Thursday, we have a Thursday night game tonight, kicking off week five now of the NFL season. The New England Patriots, 2-2, 1-0 and two, on the road, travel to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers, who are 2-1, and 2-0 and oh at home. Injuries for the visiting Patriots. Eric Rowe, the cornerback, is out. The rest are questionable. It's Dante Hightower, linebacker. Matthew Slater, wide receiver. Stephon Gilmore, cornerback. Rob Gronkowski, tight end. For the Buccaneers, Levante David, linebacker. TJ Ward, safety, are doubtful. Quan Alexander, the linebacker, is out. So let's start with the injuries. You have some on the defensive side for both teams. Eric Rowe, of course, being out for the Patriots. You have some questionables. Hightower and Stephon Gilmore, a linebacker and a cornerback, respectively, two uh, of the better players at that position, not only just for their team, but in the league, and the Patriots' defense has been struggling. Now, I always expect questionables to go, but with a Thursday night game, it may be a little bit more precarious. Uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, basically, I'm expecting none of them to go because you have two doubtfuls and one out. Expect a high-scoring game in this one. Look, the Patriots' offense or the Patriots defense, that is, has been struggling. Their offense has been doing well for the most part. They had their problems week one against Kansas City in the second half, but to me that was just more of a case of Kansas City controlling the ball, and we've seen what Kansas City can do vis-a-vis -vis the Monday night game. They were very good. Tom Brady having a sensational year only has 52 incompletions on 155 passes, 10 touchdowns, no interceptions. Jameis Winston, of course, already has three interceptions, and he's played one last game, only six touchdowns touchdowns for Jameis Winston as well so the touchdowns a little down because he has one less game so you'd expect that but uh, higher in the interceptions I'd like to see if Tampa Bay is able to take advantage of that Patriots defense get the ball downfield to Mike Evans see if they can stretch over the top with Deshaun Jackson they are a home team in this one they were able to get the victory against the Giants a game they almost give, gave away I, I really got to wonder about Nick Folk we discussed that when we did the recap of the last game he had a very shaky game and uh, you know I saw it in Dallas when he when his confidence was gone uh, towards the end of that 2009 season I suppose it was he was he was just struggling and you can't rely on a guy so we've already seen that happen with Nick Folk this very well could be a close game or a game early on where you're looking to get points to you know keep pace with the Patriots and he's missing field goals you have long drives that don't end up in points and frankly I think that's going to be the difference in this game I expect Folk to miss a few field goals I don't expect the Patriots to drop the two and three they have to figure their defense out it has been a short week so we'll see if they were able to correct the issues I don't expect that they're going to completely shut Tampa Bay down and I expect the Buccaneers to get some points in this game and make the Patriots have to win it on offense. But I think there are going to be too many mistakes, turnovers by Jameis Winston's miss by Jameis Winston, miss kicks, and those sort of things that's going to lead to the Patriots getting the victory in this one. I like 34 to 24, New England over Tampa Bay. All right, so when this game goes final, if we're up tonight, we will give you the recap of that. If not, be sure to stay tuned for it tomorrow morning. Remember, we appreciate all subscriptions as well. And we will see you next time. Have a good one. Thank you all so much.